hello friend my name is chandramani and uh, you're watching active directive migration uh, uh, series uh, this is the uh, seventh uh, uh, part of this series a uh, seventh video and uh, i think we have uh, stepped out many uh, activities and uh, like in last in last video we have installed the sql express in target domain uh, for ADMT tool, uh, you know, uh, for ADMT tool, right? But still, it was not, you know, and that is not successful done. So now, if you look at here, it has been successfully installed SQL, and I have checked here, the services also running perfectly. Okay, so the the SQL also installed in target domain, not an issue. So the now this part is uh, to install the ADMT, correct? So let's uh, install the ADMT and then we run the command for PSE key. Okay. So what I will do here, go to the target. Okay. Uh, I have set the folder here and I'm copied here also. ADMT setup. Okay. So if I run it, asking, yeah, do the yes and it will extract and start the installation, right? So this is the Active Directory Migration Tool installation and do the license agreement i agreed it and i do not want to join the program right now because this is uh, you know a kind of uh, testing environment so it is asking the uh, sql database uh, access so for me uh, like i think uh, it's xyz folder uh, my server name is xyz if you look at your uh, let's go here Okay, uh, run another command post name. I think it's XY chat. So, what I will do here and uh, okay, so let's take it here. Uh, I think this is not required this way we can put it uh, admt if you remember while configuration sql at that time i have changed the default sql instance as admt inst right so do the next year let's it started the installation it will help you out to you know migrate all the objects from source to uh, target domain but ensure that you are installing active directory migration tool in target do domain not in source domain okay but and and also we will uh, uh, generate the key if uh, that PSE key here also once it is installed successfully let's wait it's connecting the database it's searching yeah it is connected so it's finished now there is one key here if you look at okay this is the key this is the command line I have right here okay you can put it same command on your live environment or production environment but you need to change your domain or password everything as well just enter it uh, the password uh, the password express over encryption key uh, has been uh, you know generated successfully if you go to the c drive here let's see whether it is generated or not it has generated c234 right this is the correct time now it has been generated uh, this will use to export the dll PS pse dll uh, while we install you know uh, uh, while we install uh, uh, password export tool here just log in with source to mine okay that's fine let it log in so let's go to the catalog what we did here install the ADMT is done right and sorry ADMT is done and run the command for the PSE key also. We generated the PSE key and install the password expert setup in the source domain. We need to be create the source domain. Let the login source domain. Yeah. Open the folder option here, it is still loading, so that's the reason it's taking time. But anyway, 
so once we you know uh, at the time of installation uh, password export set up we need to be uh, export the dl which we created psa dl remember Okay, so I think I have uh, saved the setup here C drive for the data and this is what the setup you can download from uh, Microsoft site. This is totally free. I just running here. Uh, remember uh, this the password expert setup will be uh, uh, run uh, in source domain. You have to be run in source domain not in the target domain, but you need to create the key on the target domain. And here you need to provide the path of the key the software license agreement it is asking the key so give the network path here yeah it is game already okay click the next and provide the password which we given at the time of run that command okay So now it will start the installation. Once installation uh, complete, it will ask for the restart. It might be required to restart also. Let it be. If it's not, then it's fine. But I hope because we are changing in DLL, right? So that that means it definitely lost the password. You have to put uh, login as a. Uh, uh, this this account name is ABC, right? No, no, uh, it's a source domain. Oh, I'm sorry. Source domain administrator. Okay, and give the password here. We also follow the same steps what I'm doing here. It's all right, no problem. Do the okay, the finish. Now it is asking to restart because the password DLL has been exported to this source domain. Okay. And now it's uh, started. What I will do here, we need to check the PDC emulator, uh, the scheme uh, the FSM role where it is installed you know right the command uh, let's, let's target domain let's restart the source domain so we can do it here one uh, like uh, go to the uh, 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 local policy group policy management console here okay and domain target default domain policy you have to be select and you do edit it because i need to enable the audit policy here Let me as it restart and still it is starting. So okay, it's loading. I think uh, we have to wait. Okay, so you just edit a default domain policy or uh, direct you can put it the command like gp edit dot. So you go to the police computer policy and Windows setting here. Okay, it is loading, taking time. Okay, so here go to the security setting. In the security setting. Uh, uh, account policy no local policy here you can go to the audit policy 
in the audit policy uh, account management you can enable it and success and failure both you need to be check okay so same thing we perform here also in source to man let's log in okay and remember one thing uh, like uh, uh, just open the user and account and in administrator I have put it see the source domain administrator member of the source domain administrator. same thing you have to be doing the uh, source domain also for the source domain administrator you need to do the member of target domain administrator the way here it is it is a target domain administrator group the member of source domain same I uh, that need to be performed here also. Okay, let it load. And open the command prompt here. Go to the command. Uh, type. Uh, Net dumb query, you know, right? Sorry. Oh, I wrongly net dumb query okay so it will show the uh, the epism role uh, located if you look at here the pd simulator so we need to change the registry also for this okay uh, for that let me open the user and uh, user and computer uh, here let's we need to add uh, administrator the administrator group to the member yeah it is already I have added no problem okay so I will create one one more group here called uh, new uh, sorry new group so you are so so domain domain triple dollar you need to do same thing and make a domain local okay and here we will open the registry the resident go to the local machine go to the system current control set uh, control Sorry, LSC and the LSC. What I will choose you create new D watt. Okay, well, that is uh, TCP IP client. What is support? Okay, and the value should be one. That's fine. And the same the way you have you know configured uh, there like uh, uh, for the audit purpose so open the group policy management console here okay and go to the forest domain default domain policy right click edit here go to the policy windows setting remember the steps what I'm doing here and go to the security setting go to the local policy audit policy here audit account management to success and failure check now everything is done here 
okay let's do the migration whether it can be we are able to do or perform or not so what i will do here uh, in source to mine i think i have created a test uh, user right okay is the member of anything domain user okay let me member of some group here uh, gl global group okay whether it is uh, migrate and first we need to check one test account then we will start the migration so for that go to the active directory user and migration here okay uh, user account migration wizard click the next you need to provide the source domain uh, our source domain is uh, uh, source domain.com correct see it's abc right and the target domain is dot com xyz do the next uh, remember i'm i'm uh, mig migrating one test user here select user from domain yes it uh, that's fine uh, test right test one okay see yeah, this user I, I am going to migrate here and it is asking like in the targeted which user where you want to migrate right migrate user from source i have created uh, ou here to migrate users let's do and here generate the complex password or migrate password see because i have installed the uh, pa password export tool here and uh, you know and the dl also we have installed so that's the reason the option is can you can migrate the password here okay do the next uh, see it is uh, i don't know it's taking time the unable to establish session with password export server access is denied oh password server it might be services may might not might not be started let's look here password oh let's see it's not started so i will do automatic start okay see remember this you know these steps might be you know required while you know this kind of problem will come while you migrate so now i did it let's see whether the error is coming or not i i hope it won't come because we have restarted the services here that is what the problem password export services was not started but i have started on the source domain so I hope it will work now. Establishation with password expert server access is denied. Okay. So guys, we will do it in next video. So thanks for watching this video and do not forget to uh, you know, subscribe my channel. Thanks.